Hi, I'm John Hosick and I'm here at Accent Decor and we're going to do a fun technique today working with layers. And it's one of those products that I like to work with is a wallpaper paste and different medias that actually allow us to bind some of our elements together. And um, I love uh, venturing over to Home Depot. We're going to be working with a product, a wallpaper paste, um, which is a very sticky subject. So when you're working with this, you have to decide whether you want to become the doctor of love and have a little bit of uh, protection for the little hands to keep them nice and clean, or if you just want to get yourself all gooey and dig right in there and make it all happen. Um, for this one, I'm going to try for the gloves. Inevitably, they have a tendency to come off, but we're going to put a, a good um, squirt of the wallpaper paste on the inside of here so we get nice goo happening, very technical term. We have some of the wonderful wool here. We're going to put that in there, and we want to manipulate all the glue throughout the fibers of the product. So we want to actually cover all the edges and cover all the layers so it really becomes very sticky. Um, when in doubt, leave out doesn't necessarily apply for this because it really, you want to make sure there's enough glue to bind all of our pieces together. So we're going to set those little kids off to the side. We're going to run these little troopers through. As you can see, it, it gets to be kind of on the gooey side, but really a lot of fun. It reminds me of grade school and used to have the, you know, balloon and paper mache and you make it like, oh, I just think it's so cool, the, the end effect. And that's what I really think with design, we can really create some beautiful feelings. This is a wonderful product called Filato Paper, which I think is fantastic, very porous. Um, it allows us to put the wallpaper paste all over it and you want to man manipulate it and make sure it really gets into the, the product itself. So when we work with this design, I, I like to think of it as a skeleton. And we look at armatures and structures and support systems. Put a little bit more on here. So what I'm going to do is my basic line, I've got a wonderful uh, surface here. Make sure you've got a plastic or something, you can peel it up once it's dry. But the skeleton of my design is made with the wool. This is actually wired. We just done some fun little knots through it. So I'm going to position these down on the table. And just to create a fun rhythm and just all this wonderful motion that starts happening. And these, I'm going to do a lot, obviously that has the wire actually in the wool, so I'm going to just bind a couple of those so you start getting these great little lines. And with the wire being in there, even when it's dry, you'll still be able to manipulate it around. We've actually tied a few knots in there. We know that line kind of breaks the eye up a little bit. And again, layering a few more of these little troopers back and forth. Big knots and loops, love it. It just really gives a fun play. And if you notice, they're all starting to touch each other and get all these little entities touching. So what I'm going to do now, is take the flotto paper, and I've actually, we've ripped it. I mean, you could cut it if you wanted to be really pretty and straight, but I'm just going to start weaving a lot of these products through here and just layering them on the top. And these, again, are gonna keep interlocking all those grids together to make sure it actually works together very nicely. We use these a lot of times for like window displays. I mean, I think the, the possibilities are endless. It'd be a great little party prop. Um, the motion down a table would be wonderful. As you can see, you start getting all these interlocking layers that are happening. And I'm making sure that I get some overlapping. I want to get some airspace in between the design. There's different levels to this. And we'll add a couple more pieces here. And this is actually the galaxy paper. It's a little bit hard to see it right now, but when this dries, because the wallpaper paste is going to be completely clean. It has this really wonderful little glitter that goes through there. And just, just like a galaxy, you think of the aurora borealis and all the wonderful stars and constellations. It truly does give us that element. I'm going to add just a couple of these little guys through here a little more. When in doubt, leave out doesn't always apply. We'll put a little bit more here and a little bit more there. But it really does, when you think of design again, when we group like items, it gives us a stronger impact. So I'm grouping some areas that have a real heavier base. It gets a little bit lighter through here. Keep layering a couple more. Another wonderful product is the wool. And the wool looks like this when it's dry. Again, I've put it in the wallpaper paste and I've got it nice and gooey, but you stretch it out and it really gives us another textural element to add to this design, which is very fun. So we'll add a few more of these little kids here. And I just love the way these textures are really starting to play with each other. Now, to me, it has a lot of smooth. When we think of texture and how that plays with the design, that if we add like a metal or a metallic element to it, it really will change the whole direction. I think that's probably good on those little kids. I've actually got some of the great aluminum wire, little spools. And again, I like the way the rhythms play. 
And I don't want this to get really gluey because it's going to take the sheen away from the metal. I want the sheen to actually still play. So I'm just going to manipulate these through here. So they really will glue in place. But it's also going to allow me to have elements to be able to wire into this design. Kind of getting wired and all spicy and great. So I'll add one more through here, just a little bit of fun. And you can see how these great rhythms really start to play. You can open these up almost like that rhythm that you get with the circular motion. So we actually have these great little um, dynamic lines that are playing, some great little pearl beads. These are fantastic. They're an individual bead we have here at Accent Decor. And again, I don't want these to get a whole lot of glue on them because it's going to take the sheen away. I'm just going to manipulate a few of these through this design, uh, attach them to my wool because my wool has the wire through it. And you can see this rhythm as it just really starts working its way down through the design itself. It really becomes very, very fun. Great, great color combination. I love this, this color combination, the blues and the greens. Some of the diamond line again, how great these little kids are. And again, not glue on them. I want to make sure that they stay clean. But there again, my wires will hold those in place. But I actually want to push these through a little bit of my, my glued places. I want to have it so you see the smoothness and the texture as it really starts to flow really becomes very pretty. As we get all these elements and things together, we think as the sunshine starts to play and it's starting to bake this little kid all together, we'll remove this little kid out of the way for us. And without any further ado, once some nice sunshine and things have hit, um, it's really, really dry. We think, oh, how can I use this in a great application in an event or something? If we can bring another little yummy over here. I have a wonderful little Ashley and Miss Carla, my Vanna's for today. Look how spectacular this is. If I can have you raise up just a little bit further, and how just wonderful we think of those colors, how alive they are, and some of the great new glass. Um, but we just want to show you some fun with layering and how much fun wallpaper paste can be. Hope you like. It.